My name is Charlotte Unger. I am from Germany and I did the LLM program in corporate law. Um, I have been uh, studying corporate law for quite a while now. So I um, went to university law school here in Germany and then did my training. Um, and after I finished that, I decided to go back to university and do my master's degree. I think the first time I came to Edinburgh was in 2016 and I already knew back then that I was like I thought if I ever do an LLM I want to do it here in Edinburgh and then a couple of years later I actually found the perfect program which was the uh, corporate law LLM. Um, it was just the perfect fit. Um, I'm interested in corporate governance, in corporate social responsibility and um, the program covered that but then you also have like classes in robotics, AI and the law, like new technologies and the law. And I found that super interesting. And uh, yeah, this is how I came to Edinburgh. And I was so happy when I got accepted. I just like what I loved was to have the opportunity to like take a deep dive into the theory of corporate law. And um, because, as I said, like I've done corporate law before, but it was always more focused on what is the law and how do you apply it in practice. And I mean, that's crucial for uh, any lawyer <laughs> to know. But just like being able to think about why the law is the way that it is, like speak to people about it, discuss it and then come up with solutions for current change challenges and um, how you think the law could be better. And I just, you know, the, like this this discussion base, being with people like amazing, super smart um, people who have the same weird interests as you in corporate law and yeah, are willing to discuss their ideas with you. And I, that's just, that's, that was, that was amazing. That was really good when you know when the information came that the university would like switch to online learning I think the university did a great job because I think it took them only a week or so to set up all the online learning and we were lucky in a way that we only had two weeks of teaching left um, so yeah we did these two weeks online uh, which went quite well I suppose given the circumstances back then we had all the information that we needed. We had all the resources that we needed. They were made available to us, all the information. And uh, we also got that, like our deadlines got pushed back. So we had more time to adjust to the new situation. So that was really great. And when I wrote my dissertation, I had a great supervisor. Um, to be honest, I struggled a little bit with focusing on my dissertation. Although I was stuck at home as everybody else, I, I, I found it hard to, to, to work on the dissertation. But my supervisor, he helped me like just to stay on track and, and uh, motivated me to, to, to move on and to, to get it done. So, yeah, it was a challenge. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was not how we all expected it to be. I mean, um, but yeah, it turned out it turned out well in the end. We had the support and um, and we supported each other as well. I, I had a great community um, and we were all in this together. So yeah, it was it was it was tough, but it, uh, we made it through. Edinburgh is a beautiful city and it's just a joy to walk around and just look at Edinburgh. That, that's just stunning. Like, um, but I think it just is the perfect size for a university town as well, because, you know, there's always something new you, you can explore, but on the other hand, you can also walk everywhere if you're fond of walking. And um, but yeah, I just I love it. I love the food, the drinks, like just being able to go out. That's amazing. Like the comedy and music. Oh, my God, the music. I uh, I had a, a joined a great choir in Edinburgh and that was like met so many talented and great people there. And um, yeah, it's just it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> And then also being able to travel around, see Scotland, which is just so stunning and beautiful. And the people are very welcoming as well. So from my experience, I just I mean, if I if I could have justified it, I would have stayed. But <laughs> I had to go home. Um, so, yeah, it's just there. I think there is something to do for everybody. Like one of my friends, he joined one of the societies of the university and he jumped out of a plane every weekend or 
Um, I joined the Whiskey Society to learn more about that. So um, also like in the university area, there is a lot of a lot of things you can do. And then obviously outside of university, there is just so much to explore. Um, and yeah, people should go to Edinburgh. Like this is just the best city in the world, apart from Berlin, maybe. <laughs> And I will be starting in a big international law firm in January, um, also focused on um, corporate and commercial law and will be doing uh, venture capital um, as my speciality, as my focus. So there's also the new technology aspect uh, which I launched in, in, in Edinburgh. So yeah, this is going to be exciting.